Hey guys, welcome back to another Big Rick Games tutorial. Today we are going to be showing you how to build a laser beam that you see here in the scene. We will provide all the assets and if you want you can download the Unity package right into your project. Just download the assets in the description below and everything you see in the video will be available for you in the trial version. You don't need any of the pro features to complete this. You can see here in our scene we're animating the beams with a particle effect and we'll also be going over that. So let's get started from a new scene and we'll show you how to build this. So we have our new scene here. I put a point light and a plane. The first thing we'll want to do is create an empty game object to put all of our assets in. I'm going to rename that laser. Next add a laser mount to the scene and we're going to add a cube for the reference of the start and the end point of the laser right at the tip of the barrel. So go to create cube and I'm going to name it barrel and drag that into your laser mount object. And take your laser mount and put it in the laser game object. Now take the cube we called barrel, put it at the end of the laser mount. Once you have it lined up with the tip of the gun, you can get rid of the box collider and the mesh render components, as this is only a reference point. Next we want to duplicate the laser mount by pressing Command D on Mac or Control D on PC. Slide it over using the handle and rotate it 180 degrees on the Y axis. Now we have them pointing directly at each other. Next we're going to create a line render on the laser component. This will draw our line in between the two points. Next we'll create a material that we'll use for the line render. Rename it laser material. Set the shader to particles additive. We have a picture in the download that you can use as the material picture called laser pick. Next put the laser material onto the laser. Next we'll add a script to the laser defining the dimensions of the line renderer. On your laser click add component and type script. New script will come up. We're going to name it laser script 2. Double click your script to open. First we'll define some variables. We'll need reference to the two points we'll draw the line in between. Start point. End point. Also, we'll need reference to the line render laser line. In the start method, we're going to link our laser line to our component line render. Next, we'll set the width of the laser line. Point to F. In the update function, we'll set the start and end points of the line. So here we'll put laser line dot set position zero for the start point, start point that we reference above. Then do the same thing for the end point. One end point. And since start point and end point are transforms, we want to reference the position and that's all we need for the script. So go back to the unity scene and we need to populate the script fields from the laser mount barrel points. So click laser and drag barrel from the first one into the start point transform and the same with the end point. Now if you click play, you can see the line render drawing the laser between the two points. Now let's add some animation by using a particle effect. I'm going to add the particle effect to the barrel start point. Click on barrel, add component, search particle, and click particle system. First click on shape, leave it as cone, but set the angle to zero. Click on emission, Set the rate to 250 or so. Set the start size to 0.2. Next, modify the start lifetime so it has the correct distance. I'm going to use 0.12 and set the speed to 40. I'm going to set the color to match the laser. Let's bump the emission rate up to 400 and the shape radius down to 0.4. I'm going to turn down the intensity of the overhead light so we can see it better. 
You can mess with the shape radius to get the effect that you want. That's 0 0.1 up to 0 0.5. And that's it. And that's all you have to do for the laser. You can download the completed Unity package in the description below. If this tutorial helped you out, remember to click like and subscribe as we will have future tutorials coming. And thanks for watching guys, see you next time. Bye -bye.